Hello, Leo. Welcome to another reading. Welcome to Divine Conversations. Thank you all so very much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, hello. My name is Eric. It's wonderful to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? A special shout out goes out to the new members of the Unicorn Herd here on Divine Conversations. Thank you all so very much for subscribing. Welcome to the, the, the family. Uh, it's wonderful to connect with you guys. It's wonderful to meet you guys. Guys. All right, everyone. So please keep in mind, Leo, that this is a general reading. So please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. This is also a fairly timeless reading, even though this is kind of, you know, labeled as a message for the month of May. It's really not supposed to resonate for you in any specific or any given time. Uh, case in point, a friend of mine mentioned that a few days ago they did watch the Leo reading for March. Um, and it was the end of April, and that still resonated quite strongly for them, okay? So this can resonate for you at any time, especially if it doesn't quite resonate for you at this moment. Stick a pin in it and come back to it maybe later on in the month, and maybe it will resonate for you more at that time. Yes, this is for my Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. Let's get into this, Leo. So what we've got in front of you right now is your pre-shuffle. And as I was connecting with your energy, Leo, what I heard what, what I heard is that Leo has been working very diligently towards something. There is something that is on your heart, Leo. Um, it feels like it's been weighing on your heart quite heavily for quite some time, and you've been quite secretive about it. Um, for some of you, there is a sense of pride coming through here. Um, you know, kind of a six of wands energy <clears throat> in terms of, in terms, excuse me, of like trying to keep up, keep up appearance, trying to save face, trying not to really let anyone in on what it is you're going through or what it is that's been on your heart that you're working so diligently towards manifesting. I, I don't really feel like um, that's too bad of an energy. The strongest thing that I'm getting here, Leo, is that if you have been hiding what's really been going on underneath the surface from the people around you, especially those that you care about. It's not because um, you're too prideful to, you know, ask for help. It's more an energy of you don't want to bother anyone with it. You don't want to burden anyone with it. Um, all right, so there is a little bit of a twinge of ego there, but I, I don't feel like it's really all that malicious. I feel like it's something that's natural to you. I feel like you're a natural born leader or a provider. Um, you are a fixed energy. Fixed energies t are masculine energies. So, you know, you tend to be a very strong leader, a very strong support system for the people that you love. Um, okay, so, but what I'm getting here with this, Leo, um, that Queen of Wands energy that's at the overall, at the bottom of the deck right now, this is this alignment that you have been working on getting into. And I will say, Leo, that it's been taking you a while to get into the alignment in terms of feeling ready to take action towards something. In the cards here, you do have the Four of Cups to the Knight of Wands to then the Knight of Swords. Uh... So this Queen of Wands energy is representing this new alignment that is coming online for you, uh, a shift in the way that you manifest, a shift in the things that you are wanting to manifest for yourself. Um, again, it feels like it's been taking a long time for this to happen, and I'm mainly getting that with the Four of Cups, because there has been some sort of rejection, maybe your pride and your ego kind of was getting in the way for a while, in terms of making some sort of change to your alignment, and I don't want you to take that in any sort of um, negative way like real negative or um, real uh, offensive way, Leo, it's mainly because of your fixed element, okay? Fixed signs don't like change. They're not, they're not the type of energy to induce or enforce or go after change. That would be the exact opposite of what you are a fixed sign. A fixed sign takes the trajectory that you've been moving in or that the collective has been moving in, especially as a leader, and follows through with that, okay? And there's a very good, very real reason for that energy. The thing about it is, Leo, what I feel is changing for you is not necessarily direction, the direction that you're moving forward in in terms of the collective and how you're leading people forward, although that can be something that is changed through 
just you know the the natural process of what's changing for you but what it really feels like is changing here for you is a is a sense of self is a sense of identity is a sense of al alignment within yourself there is also there's a strong energy here leo of your desires changing your preferences changing case in point you may have been really into something let's say a year ago, this time a year ago, you were an avid gamer. Like you just did nothing but play video games. You wanted nothing but to play video games. You wanted to get into the video game world. You wanted to, you know, start creating your own video games. This hadn't, I mean, this is totally hypothetical. And then now fast forward to a year today, a year later today, and you're like completely different. None of that interests you anymore. There's something greater, something new, something better on the horizon for you. I do feel like it's been a long time since for this coming, like it's been a long time coming, okay? Four of Cups, Knight of Wands. There has been some sort of struggle, I will say, um, but slowly but surely the, 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 the flames of this new passion, uh, this new direction, this new trajectory, this new alignment have been slowly but surely building. It's like whatever spirit, God source creator has been putting you through over this amount of time, whether it's just been over the, the last year or over the last six months I'm hearing for some of you or over the last few years, slowly but surely spirit has been putting you through or your higher self really has been putting you through experiences that have helped you not only build this new fire, but like build the structure to maintain this new fire, but the, like start to kindle this fire. It's taken some time. And now it's getting to the point where the fire is really starting to be stoked enough where it's time for you to start taking action. Knight of Swords, you're wanting to take action. For some of you, the action or the, the what's happening here is there's a level of aggression saying, I'm tired of where I've been. I'm tired of all of this. Um, there is some lack mentality involved with this. I want to get to the underneath, what's underneath the Queen of Swords, but um, with this Knight of Swords, I'm sorry, not the Queen of Swords, the Queen of Wands, but with this Knight of Swords energy, the, the, kin the fire has been kindled enough, the fire has been stoked enough for you to now want to take action. And actually, if you look at it this way, you have that Four of Cups there, which has been a reluctance for you to really accept the new that is being trying to, trying to be influenced in your life. Then the Knight of Wands to the Knight of Swords. I mean, that right there is the process of kindling a fire if you really want to look at it that a certain way. I mean, what fuels fire? Oxygen. Fire is represented by the Knight of Wands. Oxygen or air is represented by the Knight of Swords. Okay, so there has been a level of stoking the fire that is rep that is ultimately being represented by this Queen of Wands for you. Now, I did look at the bottom of the deck before I started recording here, and I want to get into some of those energies because there's a lack mentality here that it seems that you're breaking out of. Underneath the Queen of Wands is the Four of Pentacles to the Five of Pentacles and then to Death, okay? So um, there are feelings of inadequacy. Some of you have been going through a process right now where um, old methods of being, old creative pursuits, old uh, uh, career trajectories or whatnot, whatever, have been slowly but surely breaking down for you. And it's been a very long and arduous process. It's been a very depleting process. It's been a huge ego death. And I don't mean anything derogatory or offensive by this. I'm a strong Leo energy myself, but Leos are very have a, have a very strong connection with their egos. We're just going to say that. Um, and so this has, this has been a bit of an identity crisis for a lot of you. Okay, or at least it's just been a very extremely painful process. And what's made this process even more painful is how long it's taken for you to get here. But you see, Leo, first of all, you can handle it. You've been able to handle it and spirit knows that. Okay, your higher self knows that. But also, Leo, the reason why this has taken so long is because of the fact that you are a fixed energy, okay? You have difficulty accepting and aligning with and integrating change to begin with. That's just naturally part of who you are. So spirit or your higher self couldn't really do this all too quickly because it would have been too much of a shock to your system, okay? But you have this transformation that's happening right now. The four of pentacles to the five of pentacles. Uh, there is a state of being, the four of pentacles, that you have been heavily rooted in that is coming to a close. For some of you, what's coming to the surface here is your understanding of why you have been holding on to this position for so long or to this circumstance. This might be a relationship also, whatever this is for you, you've been holding on to it for so long and you're starting to understand 
in some cases, the lack mentality that was behind your reasoning for holding on to this for so long, feelings of inadequacy or feelings of not being able to have or achieve or receive greater than what you already had in this circumstance, okay? And that's part of the structure, the situation that is uh, you're coming out of. And that's also a big part of the motivation towards this new sense of alignment, this realignment for you, okay? Okay, we're going to continue. I do, I'm curious to see what's underneath the death card. Ah, the Queen of Cups. You're becoming much stronger, Leo. You know what's interesting, you guys? Um, I feel like this is a bonus reading for you. I feel like this is piggyback piggybacking on um, the reading that I did for you for the month of April. This is kind of getting into some of the backstory in terms of where you have come from. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to move forward here. 11-11 on the counter, by the way. Um, I'm going to move forward, and I'm going to be honest with you guys. I really do want to call this a bonus reading. Okay, so so let's go with that, yeah? All right, cool. I'm going to reset here, um, and we're going to see what, we, what else we've got for you. Let's continue with this storyline. What do we got? What do we got? We've got... Next we have OC. Okay. And it's so crazy, Leo, because I was... Um, <laughs> I was, as I was talking through all of those energies for you before, I was kind of picking up on the energies. Like I was feeling like this is kind of a tower moment, or at least there are some belief structures. There's a massive change that's happening for you. And look what just came out here. Or there are some belief structures that are coming down, old circumstances, old awarenesses. It just feels like a tower moment for you. Well, there it is right there. The tower to the two of wands to the eight of pentacles. Um, I want to go a little bit further with this. I'm just, I'm totally winging it, you guys. Like I'm sh I'm I'm not gonna lie. I straight up intended to channel a monthly message for you, but this is really just feeling like a bonus reading that is piggybacking off of the last reading that I did for you for the month of April. So we're gonna continue. We're gonna move forward with this overall energy at the bottom of the deck right now, and I'm totally winging it. So okay, but overall energy at the bottom of the deck right now for you, Leo, is strength. There you are. So what this is kind of saying here, Leo is massive belief structures are falling, the tower. There is sudden change happening for you. But Leo, this doesn't feel so sudden. I feel like the reason why it's coming across as sudden for you is again because of your fixed element, okay? This is not something you were readily moving into, something that you really wanted to change, but it's happening now. The change is being forced um, in, in some way or another, the change is being forced. I do feel like at this time or at this point, Leo, you are going forward with it. Okay. You are consciously, maybe even begrudgingly going forward with it, but it's, it's quite obvious to me right now, or maybe I'm hearing it's quite obvious to you right now that there is a choice that needs to be made in terms of what it is you want to be. Hmm. What it is you want to be working towards. Okay, I want to clarify this Eight of Pentacles a little bit more. Um, the fact of the matter is that you've got to choose a new direction somehow. Or what I also just kind of heard is that new direction has been chosen for you. You just have to choose to follow through with it at this time. There is definitely a level of uncertainty that's going on for you here, Leo, because you're not exactly sure where this is going to lead you. Uh, I'm looking at this two of wands energy and I'm getting very much a star type of energy because there's a lack of or, or there's a level of faith that you're needing to incorporate here. And that's also being reflected in the strength card that's at the bottom of the deck. You're really having to hold your ego at bay and say, look, this is for my greater good. This is for the best. You know, I've been struggling with whatever I've been struggling with for so long. I feel like also that's another that's another part of what's helping you make this change, Leo. You've been struggling with something for so long that there is a sense of relief in choosing this new direction in terms of what it is you want to be working towards. I want to clarify this Eight of Pentacles. Can you clarify this Eight of Pentacles for us, for Leo, please? What is this Eight of Pentacles for Leo? The Ace of Cups, Leo. Ooh. What's this Eight of Pentacles? 
There could be a change in a relationship. The Hierophant. Eight of Pentacles. Anything else for this Eight of Pentacles for Leo? And then there's the King of Wands. There you are, Leo, again. Officially, the King of Wands represents you. Leo, now this could this could work out in any way. This is a general reading, so please take it as it resonates. Um, but the Hierophant to the Ace of Cups, in terms of clarifying the Eight of Pentacles, is representing a big, big structural change for you. Something that has been done the same way over and over and over again for eons, for lifetimes, for centuries, this is what I'm hearing. So either this is within your own soul, okay? The history of your soul, the, is the history of your being. Or this could have to do with society, institutions. Uh, what, what I'm getting for some of you is this is like a social group or it has to do with a friends group or it has to do with a way, with a way of identifying with society or identifying with the people around you. For others of you, this could be a career. But what I'm feeling here, what I'm picking up on here, Leo, is that you are being provided with an opportunity to come out of some sort of major life lesson that you've been cycling through. I'm hearing for some of you for many lifetimes, you're literally about to break free from this cycle. There is something so brand new that's coming forward for you, Leo. In this lifetime is what I'm hearing. Like, it's as if, figuratively speaking, your soul has been in some sort of cocoon for a number of life cycles in which you've been gaining, learning some really tough lessons. The Hierophant to me represents tough lessons, hard lessons, or life lessons. But I'm seeing you're kind of like, Im you're, you're kind of emerging out of this. For some of you, this has been some sort of training. Uh, in, uh, indoctrination, yes. Uh, indoctrination, but in a spiritual sense, which is kind of weird because the, the Hierophant to me doesn't necessarily represent spiritual indoctrination. It represents physical or, or um, uh, religious and institutionalized indoctrination. And yet, what I'm getting with this energy, Leo, is that your soul has gone through a certain level of indoctrination in on earth that has helped it learn certain life lessons and evolve as a bigger and badder being. You have gone through the life lessons that you need to go through to help you shift your internal core alignment, which is deep, deep, deep in your subconscious. Like... Uh, there's uh, what I want to say also for some of you is, and I hope this is making sense, but there has been a massive shift in the alignment of your higher self. Even this is, this goes way deeper than just your third, third dimensional, three dimensional representation. There has been a, a massive core shift within the sense of your being on a soul level. Holy moly, Leo. I want to look a little bit deeper into this Hierophant energy. What is, can you describe the Hierophant a little bit more for Leo, please? <laughs> death. <laughs> oh my God, you guys, look. Death and we're back to strength at the bottom of the deck. This is... This is a massive soul transformation, Leo. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness, Leo. I mean, I... What's under strength? The devil. Soul ties. Certain addictions. Low vibrational energies. Um... There's also an aspect of your soul here, Leo, that was very much attached to certain human realities. I hope this doesn't sound like a bunch of gibberish to a lot of you, but that there were certain attachments that your soul had to the earth, 
um, in terms of humanity, in terms of, we could call them addictions. Um, yeah, we could call them addictions, whether that be substances or certain ways of being, certain life circumstances, career aspects, um, uh, uh, egoic pursuits that, you know, you in certain lifetimes may have tried to achieve and just never got there and your your soul or your ego just couldn't let go of them so you kept reincarnating here on life to experience here in life to experience these things over and over again to try and you know to try and and be successful in them but you kept falling short it's doing the same thing over and over again expecting a different result but never getting that different result you have finally found a way you have finally found a sense of relief from this. I really hope this is making sense, Leo. Wow. Okay. All right, so Leo, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to clear this up and um, I'm going to do half of my freestyle spread where normally you would have the first half, second half of the reading. Again, yeah, this is definitely turning into a bonus reading for you, Leo. So excellent. Um, I hope this, I hope you enjoy. I hope this is helpful for you. Um, I'm definitely going to, for those of you that are new here, that are just checking out the channel for the first time and did not see the reading that I did for the month of April, I am going to place it, pin it in the top right of your screen, also in the description box below, okay? Um, so that because I definitely feel like that is a piggyback off of or I'm sorry, this is a piggyback off of that reading. Right. So I'm going to give this five shuffles. Um, I'm sorry. So whereas I would have had the first half, second half of the reading where the first half looks at the past leading up to the future. We've already had or I'm sorry, leading up to the, the current energies. We've already had that. So now I'm going to look at the just what's coming forward. You know, where are you heading from here? OK. All right. Cool. So I'm going to give this five shuffles for you, Leo. One. So where is Leo heading from here? Sun, moon, rising, and north node. Yes, this is two. Come on now. Okay. Where is Leo, Leo heading from here? This is three. Life circumstances are drastically changing, Leo. This is four. And this is five. Um, it may seem like nothing is happening for a while. But just understand that underneath the surface, a lot of your life circumstances are being are being reworked. So it's almost as if you're being held in a safe space. You're being held in a in a in like a waiting room is kind of what I'm getting here where it's pretty uneventful. You know, it's fairly calm, although I do feel like you have a, a state of anxiety going on ever so slightly just because of the unknown that's coming forward. You don't know what's coming next. I'm definitely seeing you being held in like a waiting room right now while externally outside there may be a lot going on. Um, I'm kind of getting that some of you in this waiting room, uh, it's like you can see outside Maybe not fully, but you you see there's a lot of madness going on outside. There's a lot of shifting, a lot of changing. There may be a storm going on outside. Either you can hear it or you can feel it or you could just sense it. That's, that's the reworking of your life circumstances. And what you really need to do is just remain as patient and calm as possible as the universe works this out for you. Because yes, from your point of view, Leo, it does seem very extremely chaotic, maybe even violent. Um... But that's nothing for you to concern yourself with because that's literally the, just the universe doing its thing. And from the universe's point of view, it's not nearly as chaotic or violent as, <laughs> as it seems from your point of view, okay? Let's cut the deck. Boop. All right, where is Leo heading from here? Overall energy for you, Leo. Ooh, look at this. You have the hermit. Is the first card out. In greater alignment with yourself, Oh, wow. Okay, you have the Hermit here, right? Underneath the Hermit is the Page of Wands. Underneath the Page of Wands is the Magician. Oh, my God. And then underneath the Magician, Leo, we are back 
to the tower. This is that chaotic energy, okay? That's seemingly just like thrashing around and destroying everything in its wake. Don't focus on that. It's literally just your perspective. It's just your point of view that's saying this is too much. This is chaotic. You got to calm down, the universe. Don't tell me to calm down, says the, <laughs> says the universe. Okay, we were kidding there. Um, but where are you going from here, Leo? Well, there is a certain level of humbleness involved in this energy for you right now. Because it feels like you have been resisting this level of change for lifetimes, lifetimes and now that you've gotten to the core of it or now that you seem to have reached a core level of yourself you're ready to change you're ready to experience this new level and I feel like this is part of the reason why you have incarnated with this Leo energy because yes number one Leo is a fixed sign, so there was a challenge involved in terms of getting you to change the trajectory or change the momentum you have been in for so long, okay? But also, think of it this way. Leo rules the fifth house in astrology. The fifth house is all about children and the inner child, but it's also about self-expression. And there has been a level of self-expression, Leo, that you have been under the spell of, we'll say, or under the guise of, that has been extremely egoic and somewhat detrimental to the truth of your nature or the truth of the experience you, are been, you have been meaning to have here on this planet, in this plane. For some of us, I just heard for most of you, over a multitude of lifetimes, okay? So think about the significance there in terms of being incarnated with this strong Leo energy or at least going through this strong ego, uh, I'm, str I'm sorry, this strong Leo moment and getting yourself to change your tune, getting yourself to change your alignment. Do you see the significance there? Okay. The page of wands is in fact that change of identity, but it's on the surface right? This is how you appear to the world. This is how you show yourself. This is the message you have to send to the world. That message is now in greater alignment of the truth. I'm sorry, with the truth of your core inner being, the hermit. And from here, you are manifesting a brand new life for yourself, a brand new trajectory. I mean, this is having, Leo, this is having a ripple effect throughout your soul. And the lifetimes your soul the types of lifetimes your soul will be able to incarnate into after this one has finished up. I mean, this is this is opening some massive doorways for you in terms of the, the types of experiences that you are able to have in, in like the infinites of your soul and all of the experiences that your soul can have and the ways that it can grow. Like you're literally opening new doorways, new pathways for your soul to incarnate into in existence. Again, I hope this is making sense. This is a lot of woo-woo stuff, but if you are still here with me, then you're probably on still on this wavelength, okay? Let's move forward here, Leo. First set of surrounding energies for you. Now, this is in terms of what's coming forward, or where are you moving towards, what's moving, what is, what is coming forward towards you. Again, guys, keep in mind this is a general reading, so please take it as it resonates. First set of surrounding energies, you have the Ten of Pentacles with the Knight of Swords. The Ten of Pentacles is the completion of a process. There's that Knight of Swords energy that did come out in your pre-shuffle. I feel like there has been an aggressive energy here, Leo, in terms of trying to end this cycle. So for some of you, this has been a very, this has been a conscious decision. You made a conscious decision to let go of all the old that you were holding on to so that you could experience or express the new or express the truth of who you are. I just get that there is an aggressive, the, the aggressively closing out this, this, this life lesson, this circumstance, and it mostly feels like, Leo, it's because you're fed up with being here. You're fed up with trying. You're fed up with giving your time, your attention, your energy to something that is just never going to work out for you. 
But I do feel like there is a level of aggression in closing this out because you have come to the understanding of just how detrimental that type of cycle is for yourself. Or quite frankly, that type of energies, whatever it is you've been pursuing for so long, you've come to an understanding of just how detrimental it is, not just for yourself, but for anyone else that is involved with it as well. And you are just determined to close that out for yourself. In some cases, you guys were also determined to help other people close that out. But you have come to a deep understanding of just how detrimental that in itself, in and of itself is in terms of trying to help other people or get other people to close out those certain cycles or to stop those, pursuing those certain things. That was just as detrimental to you as it was for you to pursue it yourself. So there is a strong level of aggression here, determination to just end this and move forward. Regardless as to what it means for the people that around you that are still involved with this situation, regardless as to whoever you have to, whomever or whatever you have to leave behind, you're just done. You just want to be done. It's kind of what the universe, your higher self has been trying to push you towards. So, ha! Mission accomplished, right? <laughs> okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Leo, in terms of what's coming forward for you. You do have the five of cups. So there's that level of loss, but then you have that with the five of pentacles. See, what you're really losing here, Leo, I want you to be very clear on what it is you're actually losing here. You're losing this lack mentality, this sense of being left out in the cold, this sense of not being good enough. For some of you, you have been working towards this energy or pursuing this for so long and have been failing nonstop. And it has really, it has really been a detriment to you. All because of the ego and the pride. You couldn't just let this go. You had to keep trying and keep keep one-upping, I'm hearing, but the universe kept one-upping you, trying to get you to just release this and move forward from it. But now what you're actually releasing is, and what I feel like you're coming to the understanding of, Leo, is I was never, I was always good enough. I always had the power within me. It's not that my failures in terms of this are a... Uh, um, a view into myself, it's more of an energy of that's just not, was not for me. It wasn't good for me. I didn't need to experience that. I didn't need to have that in my life. But I got so blinded by the success of it that I was just like, no, I need to have this. And the universe was like, all right, well, here we go again. <laughs> okay. Your challenge here, Leo, in what's coming forward for you here, King of Pentacles with King of Swords. Whoa. So you are going to be going through a bit of a grieving process here, Leo. But your challenge in terms of this, sorry guys, I'm being bit by a mosquito and so I'm chasing it away. Um, your challenge in terms of this energy, Leo, is to stay very clear and very firm in terms of who it is you are in relation to all of this. King of Pentacles to the King of Swords. There's also a level of materialism here that you're needing to let go of. Um, I feel like whatever this situation is, this cycle is that's cleaning, completing for you here, it, um, yeah, okay, I did just hear it's a double-edged sword, all right, but it has, it has kind of a double meaning here, Leo, because ultimately, even though you were cycling through all of this and um, it was kind of detrimental to you in terms of the fact that you know, it, it, it was a blow to your ego. It was a strong lesson in materialism because that's kind of what I'm getting with this King of Pentacles energy. Some sort of materialistic outlook or some sort of materialistic nature, you've become very clear on that. So maybe this is a reading for someone who recently has moved out of the realm of materialism and is now moving more into the realm of spirituality. And understanding the higher meaning of things, letting go of some of the materialistic or third dimensional mindset and starting to question, starting to look for a higher perspective or a greater view or greater meaning. I'm getting it's like this king of swords energy is standing in front of the king of pentacles questioning him. Why are we so materialistic? Why do we need these material things? Why do we need this certain status? Why do we need this certain job? Why do we, like, you know what I mean? 
That's your challenge here, Leo. But that's also what's helping you get through this grieving process. Allow whatever it needs to allow whatever it is that needs to spill out to spill out with this five of cups and release yourself from this sense of lack mentality, feeling left out in the cold because you've never or haven't been able to achieve a certain sense of materialistic validation or material um, status or whatnot, whatever. Your challenge here is questioning why, but not just questioning why, understanding. This is like the review process. The review process. The King of Pentacles was that energy that you were in before of needing a certain materialistic outlook or whatnot, whatever. A certain material or three-dimensional result. Whereas the King of Swords now is looking at this objectively and saying, okay, what have I learned here throughout all of this? And how can I change? How can I be better? Okay. Closing message and or potential outcome for you, Leo, here you... Yes, the Six of Wands with the Knight of Wands. Beautiful. You have a new direction to move in. And I feel like this direction is a very passionate one. I feel like it's a direction that your heart is very much in alignment with, that your heart wants to continue moving forward towards, moving forward with. Okay, you have a new sense. There's a there's a, a newfound sense of inspiration also within you, Leo. That um that is really beautiful. Um, it's refreshing. It's like a breath of fresh air because you are no longer holding on to the old that has become stuck and stagnant and stale. Okay, there is a new direction. There's a new alignment. There's a new trajectory for you, and this is really really excellent. I'm very happy for you, Leo. You really released something that is has been long standing. And I can feel the relief for you. Okay. This is beautiful. All right. Uh, I'm gonna close the reading out here for you with some oracle guidance from the Crystal Mandala Oracle. Yes? Excellent. Five shuffles for you here, Leo. This is one. Two. Closing oracle guidance, please, Leo. For, please, Spirit, for Leo, Sun, Moon, Rising, and North Node. This is three. Especially for my Leo North Nodes. Yes. That's three. All right. Th th yeah. Ooh, yeah. This really might resonate for a Leo North Node. This is four. And this is five. All right. Closing Oracle Guidance for my Leos, please, Spirit. There it is right there. Card number nine. Archon Barbelo and Picture Jasper. Support. Barbelo or Barbello, something like that. Okay. We bring you the gift of support. Our support is available to you on all levels. We offer spiritual support of inspired ideas, unconditional love, and divine energy. We offer psychological support as we assist you in upgrading your belief systems to ones that enhance your ability to fulfill your divine destiny. We offer emotional support through spiritual friendship, unconditional acceptance, and unlimited compassion. We offer physical support by providing for your material needs for nourishment, shelter, security, and safety. We are available, I'm sorry, we are able to support you with peace and with prosperity in subtle and very practical ways. Notice how much easier it is to live your life with courage when you know that no matter what, you shall be provided for and what you need is only ever a prayer away. Well, there you have it, Leo. Thank you so much for tuning in to what has turned out to be a bonus reading for you. I hope this was helpful for you. If you guys would like a personal reading with me, I am available for that. Just check the information in the description box below. Uh, shoot me an email, which can be found there, along with a list of the readings that I offer and their prices. Shoot me an email letting me know you're interested, and I will be more than happy to get you all hooked up. With that said, Leo, uh, also, wait, I should say, if you would like some extra content with me throughout the month, check out 
Patreon, patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below. Now is a really good time for you to get in on that if you would like to, as it is the beginning of the month. Um, so yeah, check that out. Patreon.com slash divine conversations. The link to that can be found in the description box below as well. With that said, Leo, please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe if you haven't done so already. But I am sending you so much love and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon. Yes? Excellent. Bye.